Hello friends, it's Mr. Jim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Today's story is brought to us by Jasper. Hey Jasper, he sent me an awesome idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to kidshortstories.com, send me your idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. And right now I need you to smash the follow button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome stories are you guys ready for an amazing adventure about a chipmunk that paints and its paintings turn to life wait what me too let's go one day jasper was at home reading a story about a magical mountain it was a fascinating story that there's no way it's true but this magical mountain, uh, Jasper was reading that like new creatures would just suddenly appear on this mountain. New creatures that had never been seen anywhere else in the whole wide world before would just appear on this mountain. And the legend said that there was some creature on the top of the mountain that was the one that was creating all these new animals. After he read all the pages, he saw in the back of the book there was a map. This map looked really old, but it even looked kind of familiar. Wait a second. I know where those forests and those mountains are. What is that? Whoa. In the middle of the map was this big, tall, shiny mountain. I think that is the mountain that the story was about. But it's just a legend, right? Legends usually aren't real. But this map looks very familiar. It looks like my backyard almost right there and sure enough this map was a real drawing of where his house was and all around it wait a second could that mean that the legend is actually true well i guess i gotta find it out for myself said jasper so he put on his hiking boots and grabbed some hiking gear and his walking stick because you always need a walking stick when you go hiking right and off he went. He brought the book with him so that the map would lead him to the right place. There was a lot of hiking that he needed to do to get to that special shiny mountain on the map. Even if the story was just a legend and not true, he knew that it would be a fun adventure regardless. As he started hiking towards the mountain, he started hearing a strange creature sound. What? <laughs> What was that? As Jasper was looking around, he realized that he had never been in this part of the forest by his house, and the ground was starting to get extra sparkly. Wait a second. The sparkly mountain on the map, is that real? Like, the dirt was definitely sparkly, and wait, well, hold on. What was that sound? <laughs> As he looked all around, trying to find the source of that sound, there it was! It was sitting up on a tree branch, not that far away. And it looked like, holy smokes, it looks like a frog with wings. Or like an owl frog or a frog owl. What in the world? The creature then swooped off with his big wings and flew away. Oh my goodness. Jasper rubbed his eyes. Oh. I must be seeing things that, that that couldn't have been real. Or was it? As Jasper continued hiking up the mountain, he just couldn't stop thinking about that really weird frog owl that he saw. Have you ever seen a frog owl before? I don't think those are real. Meow. Meow. Oh, that sounds like a cat, said Jasper. As he kept walking up the trail, he turned and looked and... Oh, oh! Oh my, no, that was not a cat. That's, that looks like a reindeer. Meow, meow. But that reindeer has the face of a cat. I am, I am I losing my mind? Jasper closed his eyes and shook his head, rubbed his eyes and opened one of his eyes to see if it was still there. And sure enough, that creature was still standing in the middle of the trail, just in front of him, staring right back, meowing. Meow, meow. And off it ran. Wait a second. I wonder if this legend is actually real. Jasper opened up the book and, and flipped through the pages. And look, right there. Look at those creatures. The creatures in the book that said that came from this mountain were a mixture of animals. 
kind of just like the ones that he saw. A frog owl and a, a cat reindeer. Whoa, could this actually be real? As he was following the map, it took him on a windy, windy road all the way to the top. And the further up the road he went, the more sparklier the dirt got. Have you ever seen sparkly dirt? I haven't either. That definitely does not sound normal. So wait a second. This magical mountain is sounding realer and realer. And that legend, I think, is about to come very, very true. Just then, Jasper appeared at the top of the mountain. He had come through all the trees, and there was a big flat spot on the top of the mountain. It was very windy at the top of the mountain. He could feel that cool breeze flowing through his hair as he looked around. He had to squint his eyes because it was really windy. He looked all around and there wasn't anything anywhere except a couple buckets of paint. Wait, what is what is that doing here? He thought to himself. Look at this. There's red and yellow, orange and green, blue, purple. Every color. You need to back away from my paint. Don't touch it or else I will nibble on your toes. Ah! Jasper jumped up and ran back to where the trees were. What on earth kind of creature was that? How in the world did you find me up here? Said the mysterious voice. Jasper came out with his hands up. I'm, I'm sorry. And, and he raised the book over his head. I was following this book. The, the book had a map and there's a legend of a creature that that is somehow creates like new creatures and i think i've seen some of them are you the the creature that does this he shouted and just like that a tiny little chipmunk crawled out from behind some rocks why of course it's me uh, this is my mountain and that's all of my paint uh, you see i've been working on a lot of new projects and i don't want anyone to mess it up and i don't want you to touch my paint jasper couldn't believe it the legend of the story was true Wait, you mean that frog owl and the cat reindeer that I saw, that came from you? Of course it did. You see, I, well, I, I can't tell, uh, mm. you have to promise to not tell anybody because then everyone will want to steal my paint. But you see over here, there's this rock, this big, big rock. And for some reason, whatever I paint on this rock comes alive. I, I can't explain it, but I've been doing it for a very long time, my whole life even. And I've made some pretty cool creatures. <gasps> wow. Jasper couldn't believe it. Do you think I could try? Ah, uh, no one has ever touched my paint before, but well, uh, I don't see why not. Just be very careful and don't draw anything super dangerous because I just don't like dangerous things. I only like nice things, said the chipmunk. If you could paint any creature that would come alive, what would you pick? I would love to see it. I would love to see you draw a picture of an imaginative animal of maybe combining two different animals into one, and you can send it to me on Kid Short Stories, our Instagram page. I'd love to see that. Well, as Jasper started to think to himself, what two creatures might be fun to put together... He grabbed a paintbrush and started to paint. Oh, wow. I've never done one like that before. That's pretty cool, said the chipmunk. And there, Jasper finished. It was an amazing work of art. It was a bird bunny or a bunny bird, but it was a bunny with wings. And just like that, as he finished the drawing, it popped off of the rock and the paint turned to a real bunny bird. Wow. That is pretty cool. All right, Mr. Chipmunk, I have to head back home. But thanks for sharing your paint with me and showing me all this cool stuff. Okay, well, uh, uh, bye. And Jasper started heading home and he couldn't wait to tell his family about what an amazing adventure he'd been on. The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. 
I want to say hey to Ava from New York, Noelle and Elijah from Virginia, Alina from England, Asher and Kyler from Vernon, BC, Kian from Singapore, Blake from Atlanta, Georgia, and Dylan and Rachel from Portland, Oregon. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop Dr. Stinky Breath and his team without you, my friends. Well, you have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!